If you're a fan of horror films, then you may have recently seen actress Mia Goth in the 70s set Slasher X. This movie is about a doomed group of filmmakers who set out to produce their latest adult film in an awful location, unaware of what their fate will become. And in X, Mia plays both starring roles. The beautiful stripper Maxine, ready to be the next star, and the unstable and scary Pearl, an old lady who owns the property in the film. While there's a specific reason Mia took on both roles, there's also much more to this talented young star than you probably know. She even recently became a new mom with her partner, who's a Hollywood actor himself. So if you want to learn more about Mia Goth's early life and rise to fame, then stay tuned because we'll get into all of that and more here for you on Famous Life. Mia Gypsy Mello De Silva Goth was born on November 30, 1993 in Southwark, London, England at Guy's Hospital. Her mother, Rachel Goth, is Brazilian, while her father, Eric, is Canadian, more specifically from Nova Scotia. Mia's lineage also includes some well-known individuals, with her maternal grandfather being a Jewish-American artist Lee Jaffe, and her maternal grandmother being Brazilian actress Maria Gladys. At the time Mia was born, her mother was 20 years old and single for the most part, which led them to relocating multiple times when Mia was young. For instance, when Mia was only a few weeks old, they relocated from London to Brazil because her mom needed help from her family to raise her. Then, she and her mom returned to the UK when Mia was five years old. Mia said, I remember leaving Brazil and it was really difficult. At five, you make strong connections and one of my first memories was holding my grandmother's hand in Copacabana and thinking this is where I live and this is where I'll grow up. And even as a five-year-old, I appreciated the beauty of that place, knew that it was special and that I was lucky and not everywhere was like this. But then we moved to New Cross. The weather alone was a culture shock to her and in school, Mia often got her English and Portuguese confused. When she was 10, she and her mother briefly relocated to her dad's home in his native Canada to try and make things work. While she was living there, Mia attended a whopping seven schools in a single year, and she said that the period where she and her mom attempted to live with her father there was very difficult. When Mia was 12, she and her mom settled in Southeast London, where she would attend high school. Mia explained this period of her life. When I was 10, I went to seven schools in one year in Nova Scotia. Me and my mom moved there so that I could be closer to my dad, who was an ice truck driver, but it didn't work out. It was difficult because my mom was a waitress and with that income, it was difficult to raise a child in Brazil and in Canada, the logistics were hard and so London seemed like the rational place for us to be. Then when I was 12, we settled in Catford and my mom is still there now. While Mia might have had many homes across the globe from her dad's waterfront spot in Canada to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where her grandparents live, she now spends most of her time between Los Angeles and London. When Mia was 13 years old, she was discovered at the Underage Festival in London by fashion photographer Gemma Booth, who then signed her to Storm Model Management, propelling Mia to appear in ads for Vogue and Miu Miu. However, Mia confessed that the modeling career didn't go perfectly for her, saying, I did go to castings for the luxury trendy brands, but it never quite worked. It was more BHS catalog work, and that was a nice money job. The fashion world has become a lot more embracing of me since I became an actress. She also thanks her stint in modeling with helping her be more carefree in front of the camera and better understand the bigger picture. Two years later, Mia began auditioning for movies when she was 16, and after completing her secondary school, she landed her first role as P in the 2013 movie Nymphomaniac in the segment The Gun alongside William Defoe. She was 18 when she landed this role and never had an acting lesson in her life. The role was certainly graphic and included intense sex scenes, one of which her character had to pee on her co-stars. But Goth claimed that the fact that she was new to the industry made her less intimidated, revealing, because I hadn't had any experience of anything before, I was more open to it for sure. Actually, I think I was very naive back then with my knowledge of film as a whole. And I think that's what saved me. Being too aware of it would have been to my detriment. Goth later played Sophie in the Sky Atlantic crime drama show The Tunnel and also appeared in Stephen Fingleton's introductory short film Magpie. 
Mia had already met her future partner Shia LaBeouf, reportedly on the set of Nymphomaniac and soon after, she had moved to LA. In 2014, she starred in the Future Unlimited music video for Haunted Love, which was directed by Shia as well. A year later, in 2015, Goth played the lead of Milia in the post-apocalyptic thriller The Survivalist, also directed by Fingleton, with whom she'd worked before, and then had a role as Meg in the disaster adventure thriller movie Everest that same year. Other roles that followed for Mia shortly after included starring in an episode of the BBC One series Wallander and appearing in the horror movie A Cure for Wellness in 2016. The director of this film, Gore Verbinski, said about Mia, Mia's ability to remain outside the system has kept her interesting. She is a singularity, undiluted, unhomogenized, and with a personality that just might keep her that way. Another big event that year for Mia was one in her personal life. She and Shia LaBeouf were married that October in Las Vegas in an Elvis ceremony at the Viva Las Vegas Chapel, all of which was live streamed on TMZ. While the couple filed for divorce 23 months later in fall 2018, Mia and Shia share a child together who was born in April 2022 and it's said they have gotten back together. While Mia was well known for being this actor's partner for many years, she was steadily working despite not being in the limelight. In 2018, Mia had a starring role in the remake of Suspiria, as well as the sci-fi mystery High Life. She was also in the short film The Staggering Girl in 2019, and in 2020, she starred in the period romantic comedy film Emma, which reunited her with actress and close friend Anya Taylor-Joy, who Mia worked with in the 2017 film Marrowbone 2. Furthermore, in 2021, Mia would be seen starring in the action drama film May Day. Most recently though, Mia had not one, but two roles in the retro themed slasher film X directed by Ty West, which was released in March, 2022 to critical acclaim. Mia also received praise for her roles as both protagonist Maxine Minx and the antagonist, the scary old woman named Pearl, with the director also adding about her performance, she understood the characters really well and she understood the duality of Maxine and Pearl. Set in 1979, X follows a film crew who set out to make an adult film on a secluded farm in Texas, not knowing the night's events are about to take a horrifying turn for the worst, thanks to the elderly hosts who own the farm they're working on. Mia worked alongside other stars like Brittany Snow, Jenna Ortega, and others, but with her challenging dual roles, it's no doubt Goth stole the show. Mia played both the stripper Maxine, who thinks adult films will make her a superstar, and Pearl, part of the older couple who owns the farm who has murderous intentions. When explaining why he wanted both characters to be played by the same actress, Ty West explained, I always thought of them as different characters but the same person. Despite the age gap between Maxine and Pearl, as well as Pearl's evil motives, they share similar values such as the fact that both characters place a huge emphasis on their looks. Mia also saw her characters as the same woman in many ways, explaining, They were just at different stages in their life. It was very important to me that she didn't come across as a villain. I had a lot of sympathy towards Pearl, and it was important that even in this world that they're in, in a slasher film, they wouldn't be presented as horror tropes or they're seen as the monsters. That wouldn't have been interesting for me to have played at all. And no doubt Mia killed it as both Pearl and Maxine, even having her co-stars forget she was the same person underneath the costume. Ty West's upcoming prequel Pearl, which was secretly filmed immediately after X, will also see Mia as Pearl, this time playing a youthful version of the villain set in 1918. This movie will no doubt explore more of the two characters' similarities and reportedly shows the ways we idealize the future and how people will do anything it takes to become the star they think they should be. Mia Goth also co-wrote Pearl alongside Wes and the film is set to debut in theaters in September 2022, but aside from this upcoming project, we'll just have to wait and see what the unique actress and new horror queen has in store for us next. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.